Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradium Thrift and Ashley from Ashley Wheeler of, of eight. 8. Yes. On Instagram. On Instagram and then Ashley Wheeler of 8 on YouTube. Or, oh, uh, no, it's just <laughs> Ashley Wheeler. It's just <laughs> Ashley it. Wheeler on, on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. And she came to visit me today so yes. that we could do some sourcing so we did a haul over on her channel mm -hmm. if you guys want to go watch that i will link that in one of the cards up here and in the description <laughs> i don't know which way it is so <laughs> whichever one you guys can find it um but on my channel today i'm gonna be having ashley go through some items that i've gotten from consignment clients and tell me if she would pick them up herself or if she would like say yes or no just to yeah yeah to sell yeah just to kind of see like get her input on some of these things i thought it would be fun because you guys will get to see what i'm picking up from consignment clients and just get another opinion yeah so yeah let's get into it <laughs> so the first couple of things are hanging because i just i already hung them up but i'll pass this over to you Perfect. i love that that is a great color combo too now, do you have like price points that you're already going to be doing, or is it just like a yes or pass kind of thing? Kind of a yes or pass. Okay, I, perfect. I, these, yeah, these are all things that I, or this first half of things are things that I'm already like, yes, I'm going to pick them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm just curious. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, no, I would totally pick this up. I like the color combo and like the uniqueness of this. Okay. It's not just like a simple north face piece yeah i feel like especially this because it's not something that i would typically pick up yeah um you have more experience yeah. <laughs> in, this, in this particular category right. um but for those of you guys who don't know this is a north face a little windbreaker um i just noticed though is that like is this... no that's a string oh, okay. inside to help okay. it kind of cinch in because it is a longer coat okay yeah see i wouldn't know that <laughs> but yeah so this is a yes excited about that I think I'm off to a good start. <laughs> um, this next piece, I thought this was really cute. It is um, a majority of these things, I'm probably not going to post on Poshmark. Just um, going to be in your I'm, store. They're going to be in my store. They're a little bit lower of a price point than I would it. like to sell. Um, I think it's new with tags. No, yep, it's down here. There, there we go. go. Oh, a cup sheet. What yeah. is that brand out again? I don't know, but I see it <laughs> everywhere. But I thought this was so cute. This is really good for spring. Yeah, if you're going to have it in your store, I think this is going to be definitely a good yeah. one to have. So this is New Tags by Cupshe. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you guys sell this because I don't. Um, it's cupshe.com. I don't I don't know. I feel like I've seen their swimwear before. Yeah, yeah, I know they do swimwear and I know some people say that they're better for like bustier gals because oh, they're like sense. more supportive. So yeah, I thought this was really cute for spring. Um, this is Lush. So oh, this okay. is just a Nordstrom brand. Right. Um, it's more, it's giving me fall, you know, fall vibes, but it's still, I feel like it's still going to get a little cold here. Yeah. So like where we are in the Pacific Northwest. Because you're going to keep this in yeah. the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think this is going to be a good one. It is a very soft. It is a great one. But yeah, she's right. It's going to be, it, even if trying to sell this on Poshmark, it's going to be a lower priced item. Yeah. Lush just does that. But yeah. for this area, I think it's still going to be good. Like yeah. you said. We're kind of in that point where it's cold in the mornings, but then like right now I'm not wearing my trench coat because yeah. I'm like, it's hot. <laughs> it gets warmer. Um, and this is another thing that I'm going to keep in the shop. But yeah. This is American Eagle, a brand that I do not pick up for Poshmark, but I know it is a good bread and butter brand. I know yeah. a lot of resellers who do pick it up because it sells really fast. Yeah. Um, and it just, it's comfortable. It's well, and I have a high schooler and mm -hmm. she wears all of like this brand all the time, unbuttoned with just oh, a sports yeah. bra underneath or like a bralette or something like that. So this is a very common one okay. to use, even though we're getting into spring, we're getting yeah. into summer, like this is the types of stuff they'll still be wearing. Perfect. So that's a good one. This, I like, I don't even know what this, I don't even think there was a brand. Oh, Miracle. I think this is sold at like Marshalls okay. maybe or Ross, but it's got this really cute um, back. That's back why time. I like it. Um, but yeah, again, for here, because yeah. springtime, you can still wear like sweaters like this. So the consignment, you're going to be doing like consignment both in the store and online. So everything that you see, like you're going to be splitting the cost with somebody. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's like another reason why I don't want to put it online is because yeah. then Poshmark takes fees, True. which cuts into the thing even more. Whereas if I can when sell it's a lower it in cost person, item. Yeah. Um, we both get a bigger payout. Yeah. yeah. I think the price tier that you're probably wanting to keep in the store, that'll be a good price. Yeah. Item for it. Um, this is John and Jen, which right. I believe is sold at Nordstrom. Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, just another cute sweater oh, with this little ruffle detail. Again, another lightweight sweater. Yeah. 
this is a good one for sure yeah I actually own this exact jacket well not exact it, I have it in yellow but it's by Fabletics oh, nice um, oh, I have one in cream. I love yeah, that. <laughs> I love it. It has thumb holes yeah. and since I love it I feel like I can like vouch for it vouch for it and be like yeah I love this sweater so this is a great one <laughs> to throw on over anything and everything mm -hmm. and I love that It is a longer length too. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's so funny I love this jacket. I feel like everybody probably has it <laughs> at this point. Yeah This is probably the best thing that I got in this consignment Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's cute. This is aloe. I still have not found this brand in the thrift. Really? Yeah. Or at least worth picking up because okay. when I do see it, I'm like, oh, it's really old so, or something. Yeah, or really expensive. Yeah. So, this one, what size is this one? I don't know. Oh, Probably this It's a large. One. Oh, wow. Yeah, very cute. This this one this I actually nice. might post on Poshmark. Yeah. Um, Because it's aloe, you know. You might get a better price exactly. for it. Exactly. When I find things that are that I can sell for a higher dollar amount, I'd rather put it online because I don't think that kind of clientele is going to be coming into right. my shop. Um, so well, yeah, getting more eyes on it for people who would be willing to pay for that higher exactly. price point. Exactly, and it's such a cute piece. I haven't looked up comps or anything on it, but... Oh, I'm sure it's probably going to sell. Really yeah. Well. This, I'm unsure because I don't ever sell this, this... That is so interesting. It's Juicy Couture, but it's this really cool oh puffer gosh. jacket. It's like really cool. Yeah. And it's like a matte Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's a matte color. But the it's like, I don't know if you guys can see the tag. It says black label on it. I'll post a picture of it up here, but yeah. Cool, right? I feel like for the color, if my husband and I were shopping he'd be like yes grab it yeah but yeah for Juicy Couture it the price would have had it been right for me to to take that up. myself in the store yeah is this a reversible no no I was not, curious I because it has the like peace it's sign not, yeah, inside it's got, like stuff inside but it's not reversible but I think this is so cute but for like the military vibe like if people like more that combat style like mm -hmm. that is definitely a really good yeah. Coat. But yeah, whether or not that's in the store or online, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look up comps on this. So she also gave me a couple pairs of shoes. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, I don't have any experience selling like sneakers. Like I'm not good Nike at running those kinds of things. So yeah, well the nice thing about Nikes, I'm sure you probably know, is like they have essentially the style oh. name right underneath. So it's really are. easy to look up the Nike. So you can say Nike, Ryan Swift. I like the colorway of this I one know, though. I know those are nice. The spotted teal work and like the accents right there. Yeah, I would have totally gotten these yeah. for sure. And then another pair of Nikes. These those are, are cute. Hirachis. I remember when this style first came out, I wanted it so bad. <laughs> but I bought them and like this elastic part, it like pushes your foot in. Oh, so it and just wasn't comfortable. Yeah, it was like, yeah, not fun. Well, yeah, especially since cute. it doesn't have like a back. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it really does have like pushes a... your foot forward. Mm -hmm. And like both of these are in such good condition. Yeah. And then the other pair of shoes, I was so excited to see these because I know they're like popular right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these Uggs. They're you know, I was kind of wondering, like are Uggs still on trend or are they not? Like So they just gained popularity again this past like winter like this style the short okay, ones with the like yeah ribbons on i the just don't know if it's too late now like yeah because you know, we're spring but i don't know cal in san diego if it drops under 60 degrees they're pulling out their uggs that is so funny yeah i i was gonna say i still <laughs> find a lot of like winter stuff selling yeah in the summer so you just never know yeah. where someone's gonna go shop or That's like true. go to Okay, so these are some other pieces. I just didn't get to hanging them, but okay. these, again, mainly I picked these up because of style, because I want to put them in my shop. Um, this was this new with tags by Olivacious, which is sold at. It's like a boutique brand. Okay. Um, boutique, but <laughs> this is this retails for sixty five dollars. Oh my gosh. So, I wouldn't pay sixty five dollars for this. No. The this oh this is a. It's a jump jumpsuit. Suit. Yeah. So jumpsuit, I feel like I might have grabbed that, but I still, with the boutique brands, like you've got to have the right audience for exactly. it. I, I focus primarily on like, what are the common brands that people know? Yeah. So, so that's why this would be a good thing to have like in a physical shop mm -hmm. because yeah, people agreed. can look at it, try it on. People whatever. are accustomed to going into a store for the boutique yeah, experience and exactly. they're willing to grab something based on how it looks. Mm -hmm. Um, this brand, I've seen it before, but I've never picked it up. It's Hera collection. Oh wow. This is also new with tag. She had a lot of like new That's stuff. Nice. Um, this is very like Kim K vibes. Yeah, you agreed. Know, Skims vibes. Mm -hmm. um, Bodycon midi dr ribbed dress. Yeah. Um, haven't looked up comps on this, but even like style wise, 
if I were a seller who sold like whatever, $10, $15, yeah. I would have picked this up because I would have sold it probably around that price. Yeah, but you're going to have that in the store. Yeah, like in the store. So yeah. I feel like, yeah, this will be, this will be good. Even Unless any of you guys are interested, yeah. like feel free. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So I know that a lot of people on my Instagram are like, oh, I wish I could visit your shop. I wish I could like shop your stuff. I'm going to be putting everything on my website as well and I'll be able to ship it all. I'm also hoping to do live sales and story sales oh, that'll be fun. on my other Instagram account which I just opened. It's Perdium Thrift Shop. Yay! Um, so you guys can follow along on there and if you ever see anything that you like, I can always ship it out. I have no problem with that. Also, I'm selling things for way cheaper than I have them on Poshmark or eBay. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Just to get rid of the fees and everything. So yeah, don't hesitate to reach out if you see anything that you like. Um, this is... Oh, that's fun. Billabong. This is another like style, cute summer you. piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100% cotton, but it's white, It's and there's no stains on it, so very cute. It's got yeah. that, like, button-down front feature. Yeah, And it's, like, shop. wide enough that it's, like, you could wear a, like, bikini underneath yeah. it and just pull that off if yeah. you want to go swimming. exactly. A lot of people, like, go to the river and they, like, tan, yeah. so it's, like, something you could just, like, throw on. throw on real quick. Oh, this is what I was saying. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, she was telling me that a lot of snow stuff has it's been still selling. selling. Yeah. So I got these, she gave me these, um... Burton Gore-Tex snow pants. Yes. Yeah. Very cute. These I love are good. This These color. are money for sure. Okay. So looks it. Burton is a good brand. The fact that they're also Gore-Tex is also really good. Yeah. This I'll Positive probably sign. post on Poshmark and eBay and yeah. not have it in the store. Um, but yeah. Super. I don't really. I've, I don't think I've ever sold snow pants or anything. Oh so. my gosh, we sell so much. Yeah. Helly Hansen, Burton. Those are some pretty common ones. Or Columbia's. We'll sell those too. Yeah. Um, you said Nike is one of your favorite or your best. Nike. Most yeah. popular brands, I guess. Yeah. And I do exactly this where I'll focus on primarily like the more printed ones. It's kind of similar oh, yeah? like Lululemon okay. where it's like the printed ones tend to have maybe a more like rarity to them okay whereas like if you're looking on Poshmark and you've got a ton of like red ones oh yeah that doesn't really stand that's out that's true okay because I was kind of iffy about these I was like uh I don't know like this again I'm like iffy about them they're Nike again they're simple yeah just some basic just some running shorts, shorts. are you gonna put it in the store though in the store yeah. yeah these are all gonna be in the store um I think these are yeah Fabletics just those are plain fun pink, but they're in nice the store um another thing to add is I'm located on uh, downstairs from a yoga studio so a lot of my clients are actually going to be people who are attending the yoga studio or, or who are shopping So having upstairs. like a rack of athletic wear is going to be really beneficial. Yeah, so that's why I, I want to have a lot of athletic wear in here just so people can shop and, yeah. you know, that's the clientele that's coming in. Um, I think, yeah, Nike again. That's a nice this is one. A, yeah, this was a cool print, I think. Kind of like that almost marble look to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Next are just a bunch of... American Eagle jeans. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hand them to you. So you All right, perfect. See. But is there? Do you sell American Eagle? Oh yeah. Is there a specific style or like? So this, these are kind of the tried and trues. You've got the high rise jeggings. I feel like if there's one that I'm skipping on, it's typically this one at this point. Okay. So the mom jean ones or the dad jeans, um, those ones are pretty popular right now. Those ones sell really quick. Okay. I do feel like these will still sell. Yeah. But people are kind of going, but they want more. The straight the, leg. Or, yeah, okay. straight leg, wide leg. Yeah. Hi, like the high rise. So this was good that these were the high rise jeggings. I think that they'll yeah, still do Yeah, these are also high rise jeggings. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, actually, is that it? No, there's more. <laughs> I was like, no, I there's more. Remember there were more. Okay, here, yeah. Another high rise jigging. High rise jigging. <laughs> this was the kind she liked. Which I still wear these. Like, I think I'm even wearing oh, really? some right now. So I still like them. Yeah, and then high rise jigging. She literally had one in every single color. So when you find what you like, like yeah, you just get it. I mean, I can, it. I can see. I've the never raw hem, I would have definitely picked gotten, those up. Yeah, yeah. fun shorts. These look like the festival, like, high rise shorts. Yeah. Oh, this is Just USA, I've so it's not American Eagle. No. I don't know anything about this brand, yeah, but either. I feel like, like I said, they're, you could say festival high rise mm -hmm. shorts. I'm, again, I'm going to have these rodeo in the shop, in our area. Yeah. But um, they're large and they're high rise, yeah. so I figured that would do good because I'm trying Fourth to get July, more. Like, yeah. a lot of different things. They're just, yeah. like, summer, I don't know. BDG, this is a great Urban Outfitters brand. I would have picked that up. Yeah, these are good. If the price was right. Cam Cam is one of those brands that I feel like a lot of people have told me is a really good for like length or for the high rise. Okay. So 
this I don't have a whole lot of experience with this one. Okay. Though. I saw a lot of can can at Goodwill when we were shopping. Yeah. There was like really high price. So And that's the problem is if it's high price it doesn't make sense to purchase it. Exactly. So it's nice to try out things like this with consignment clients because right. then I'm not paying up front for it and I can see how it's gonna do. You can you can get the brand analytics without having to fork exactly. up the price. Yeah. It's great. Um this not fully sure on it. It's BP. Okay. But I feel like I see people wearing this around yeah. here. So for your shop. Oh, and it's a slit. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's interesting. Um again, not something I would pick up for Poshmark just yeah. cuz the it, like 10 bucks probably, which is like yeah, nothing. Probably. Um BP does not sell even though it's a Nordstrom brand. Like yeah. don't it's like their think, lowest yeah. line. But here, I feel like somebody would like it. Yeah. Especially since we don't have, like, our closest Nordstrom's is in Portland. Yeah, so, about an hour and a half away. <laughs> so it's it's uh, it's nice to have somewhere else they can mm -hmm. shop. Um, Promisa, I think, is also Marshall's brand. I was going to say, I haven't heard of that brand I just before. liked it because it's a jumpsuit. Yeah. I love jumpsuits. I do, too. I love Some selling jumpsuits. Jumpsuit. Nothing special, but it's, like, a basic that some People can like. layer with or exactly. do anything with. Okay, we're almost done. This was cute. I love this color. It is Entro, which I oh, think yeah. is also Marshall's. And... I used to pick up this brand a lot when uh -huh. I first got started Intro and UMG. Okay. Because they this was like the closest boutique brands I yeah. would be picking up. I, I do like the color. It's cute. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, cute. And last thing, I think it's another pair of jeans. Oh, it's Be another paged. American Apparel. Hi, <laughs> Four or five. This is the fifth one. But yeah. Well, I mean, if you've got someone who likes that style and comes in and it's all the same size, I know. you might get oh, that's them sold true. Bulk. That's true. Or if it if it like doesn't work out in the shop, I can just maybe lot them up. True. And sell them on eBay or yeah. something. So that was everything from the first consignment client. I just got in a bunch of shoes. Actually, this morning when we got here, um, somebody came in and dropped off some shoes. So yeah. I haven't sorted through any of this stuff. I've seen some of them, but we're gonna go through them together and see what, what we're gonna pick. Yeah. Well, and the person just left. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I want them going like, oh, no. <laughs> um, the first one, I feel like these are a given. That's a yes. Yeah. yeah definitely. Honestly, Birkenstocks. these are my size. <sighs> this is the hardest part. I was going to say, that's going to be the hardest part for you. I mean, I was looking at the aloe like, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had another consignment client. She gave me a whole bunch of designer stuff. And she had this pair of Prada loafers, which oh is like gosh. really in right now. Yeah. My size. So I was like, what do I need to do to keep these? So I was like, sold a couple of her other things and I just like gave her the full payout for some of the things. And I was like, okay, I'm just letting you know, I gave you the full payout, but I'm keeping these. She's like, yeah, no, that's totally fine. And I was like, oh God, this is not safe. Like I'm going to just give everybody all the money. You're like, here's it in full. Cause I have like a wardrobe that I've already taken of yours. No need. I will sell your clothes. But not really, I'm just gonna keep them <laughs> and give you money. But yeah, so these are size 37. They're like in such good condition. They are, yeah, this is so, a really great yeah, one. Yeah, very excited. I like the color, and I actually like that style of Birkenstocks Rather than more, because I have some white ones like that, and I love just the really? slip ones like that. I don't like the thong. I don't like it really? touching my toe, yeah. Maybe I'm just... I think maybe thinking. I like the security of knowing my foot's in there. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, I've never heard of this brand. Have you? No. It says it's made in Portugal. The brand is Fiji. Fiji. There you go. This would be a worth looking up. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those brands that could actually do super well. I know. And like just basing it off of the other things that she's given. She's me, got quality. She's got good stuff. Yeah. So it's like I I'm no I know these aren't like Forever Twenty One <laughs> style or, or quality. Um let's see. So these were a pair of boots that she was really excited about. I don't think they have a brand on them. Um, no, I think they should. They do? They've got a frog in it. I know. Oh, oh, again, it's one that I'm unfamiliar with, but the feel inside feels like that soft leather. So soft. So it's, it would be worth looking at. So the, the logo is like a frog yeah. and it says El Naturalista and they're made in Spain. So again, this is probably like an eBay brand, you know? Oh, like for a, sure. Uh, something that people on eBay were looking for, but I like that you can keep it up like yeah, that, you or you can roll it, it down. Over. Yeah, I think they're cute. I mean, they're different. The yeah, I think you should try to list these because yeah. it's going to be a unique person that would need to come in to yeah, enjoy that's those. True. I think majority of like the shoes, this this from this seller, I'm going to be um, listing. Listing. Okay, so this is another one from that same brand, El Naturalista. 
Um, and I just looked up comps on both of these. It looks like one of these, like this exact shoe sold for $19. Um, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. The red boots, there's one listed for two fifty, but it sold overall for like this brand are anywhere between like ten dollars to ninety dollars. I don't know. It's all over the place, so we're gonna have to see. I don't know if there's multiple listed of those boots. If anything, I can undercut them and hope it sells. Right. But these, um, I don't know. I might just give these back because I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it's not gonna be worth it. It's such a bummer because sometimes when like they're really good quality items I that know. they've made shoes out of they don't sell for a whole lot because people just don't i feel like not enough people know or like they're not looking for that brand yeah exactly yeah. so here are dance a pair goes, of dance right? goes yeah nice again i don't really sell dance goes i feel like these are more fancier than the ones yeah i was I gonna see. say it's not like the big cloth yeah, style that you see ones. with yeah. um nursing but these are leather brown they have a little heel on them i used to sell dance coats like when i first started it was like one of my favorite brands to pick up because mm -hmm. it would sell for over 30 40 bucks every mm -hmm. time i don't know how the market is for it now okay. you know after yeah. a while like yeah a, the, a brand can get flooded in the market True. so it'd be worth taking a look at if you have like yeah i'm gonna look there's it looks like some style numbers in here so you might be able to find the exact name and then look it up okay yeah and if anything like for dance goes at least i know a lot of people wear them around, around here. here yeah so i could put these in my store but it's also not really the style of clothes that i want to put in i don't mm -hmm. know well I'll, I'll think about it kind of a toss up um and then the last pair of shoes are these oh, converse fun. um i like the color yeah i love the color i don't know i don't do you sell Converse? Holy moly, that's four and a half. This is a tiny oh, wow, that's shoe. really small. <laughs> yeah, so maybe not. Just because they're too small. Yeah. And there's like a little dirt on here, so I don't I don't like cleaning shoes. I don't like cleaning actually anything. So um, <laughs> I'll have to pass on this. Right. Um. Anyway, last little bag of clothes right here. I have not looked through any of this, so. If you want to grab Lucky that. Brand, are you wanting to have Lucky Brand in your store? I think so. So I think that's a that good style. For then. my like, I'm probably gonna edge more towards like boho-y, casual. So like Lucky Brand, Anthropology, free people, and then do like the athletic wear and athletic okay. wear, and then even like you know American Eagle, like some of the more like trendier, but. So art, no offense to my town, it's not their fault, but they're a little <laughs> bit uh, behind on like fashion trends. So yeah. if I were to be like fashion forward here, it would be a miss. Um, so if I were to sell things like this that are a little bit older, seasons and stuff, like people would be more into that or they would yeah. be more familiar with it. No, it's so true. Even going, I remember living in the Portland metro area and sometimes I would like go visit Southern California because that's where my dad lives or was living and we would go to like Costa Me Swap Me mm -hmm. and any of the different Saturday markets down there and then it would be like months if not a year later before I'd finally see it in the Portland area. Yeah. So yeah, this area is definitely a little behind when you're yeah. talking about like in style this year. So that's a good idea for exactly. your store. And that's another thing to keep in mind. Like things that you find if you are going to have your own pop-up or if you're going to try to sell in like a market or something um just like be aware of what the style is locally because it's not the same as like you know when you're selling on poshmark or ebay you're you selling to such in. a wide audience yeah anybody can find it but when you're local it's a little bit harder you have to zone in a little bit more um, this I already know I'm not going to take just because it's It's Maurice's. Maurice's. <laughs> <laughs> so Maurice's is the only clothing store that we have here. Maurice's and Fred Meyer. If you don't know what Fred Meyer is, it's a grocery store. That has clothes That sells there. clothes. Yeah. It's kind of um, like a Target, but a little outdated as well. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, a lot of people here have Maurice's. I'm just not. Um, this used to be a good brand. And yeah, I know. I don't know if it is anymore. Logo by Lori Goldstein. It's just a cardigan. Yeah, Again, I think I had this one, but in like a plum purple at one point. Um, I like might, for listed. Yeah, <laughs> I might keep this in the store. I like like this is something that like I'm literally starting from from nothing. I have to figure out what people like too. Yeah. So this might be something that I would keep in there just feel, to see. Yeah, I feel like this could actually kind of be in the athletic tier too. Like okay. if someone threw this over the top of like Yoga a sport. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Nice. In sports bra. And that's another thing. I get to style things. So even if they aren't super like appealing from like the brand or something, if I can style it properly and somebody just falls in love with it that right. way, 
that'll be an easy sell. Are you gonna do like photo styling? Like, you know how like Play-Doh does like it? Like how Play-Doh does it, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna like probably wear some stuff. I'm buying, I need to buy more mannequins. I was gonna say, are you gonna buy mannequins? I'm gonna buy <laughs> mannequins and like, that was like my, when I used to work at Cotton On and like, that I would whenever we got to switch the outfits on you the mannequins, wanted to do it. I wanted to do it because they let me pick out the outfits. That was like my dream. <laughs> <laughs> like aim high, um, but now I get to do it. So I just need to buy the mannequins. Nice. This is Eddie Bauer. This um, is a good one for this area, and it's also a medium tall. So okay. this is going to be a like specialty sizing, or if someone wants more of like an oversized. Yeah. I like the color too. Yeah, that's a good one. I think it could be good. See, like, I have you ever like gone into Eddie Bauer? My sister used to work there. They are so expensive. I know. She it hurts. Bring, she used to go to go to like sample sales. Yeah. And, like, bring because they have to wear their stuff. Oh yeah. So she'd get it for free. Um and yeah, so familiar with it. Sample sales. That that's how they get them for free. Because I always see Eddie Bauer and it see like sample inside. So they would have to go to shows. And the different stores would go to the shows and see like what the brand has available, and then they pick what is going to go into their sh into their okay. store. Um, but if you go there as one of their employees, then you, you get to like take pick stuff, stuff out and yeah. like take it. We always um, wondered if maybe it was like this is one of the items that they thought about buying or like I creating, know, yeah. but then they didn't. So they do that too. Um, this doesn't have a tag in it. No. Well, sometimes blazers have it on the pocket inside. No. Nothing. That's gonna be probably a pass I know no tag and it's a little older mm -hmm. I could be styled I don't have the patience to style <laughs> that so this looks more mature compared oh wow this doesn't have a tag either oh my gosh okay so I, I was just saying how I made a reel about like the style tags yeah so on that list one of the tags was butterfly I was gonna say butterflies are so in butterflies right now. are really in right now so I don't know this you could be this like on a Depop. Depop. yeah <laughs> Depop thing. Well, I'll especially like out. with the almost like the was that velvet Vel crush? Velour, velvet. Yeah. yeah, it has no tag or yeah, no tag inside. Well, is it reversible? Is it maybe I in the think pocket? So I think no, it it's not. Oh, it's not. It looks like it should be. No, nothing. It's like somebody made it. But it's so stinking soft. Holy smokes! So interesting. Is that a hole? That's a hole. It's okay. I You're like it's that. fine. <laughs> but yeah, Depop. I think this will be yeah. a Depopper. Um, and then some belts. Do you sell belts? No. I've sold a couple. I mean, I have, like, there were, <laughs> do you remember empty hangers? Yeah, I was just going to say that. She used to always, and so I would get belts, and then I would hate myself <laughs> afterwards, like, why did I get the belts? I feel like these are belts of empty hangers. She would have totally got up. these. <laughs> she would have totally picked these up. Hey, Jenna, oh, would, sure. if yeah. you're watching this, would you have picked up these belts? I, I do like the color combos, but yeah, unless you're... Maybe gonna put them in the store. The brands. This looks like Brighton to me, but I can't tell. There's no this tag. This top on it. green leather, and then this one. If empty it hanger can do vibes. it, I can do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I might put these in the store, but it's cute. These are yeah. these are actually cute. I could see people styling them, um, especially in this area, kind of like we were talking about. Yeah, like Western yeah. rodeo kind of stuff like that. So. That's everything. I think it's good. I'm, I'm happy with both of these clients. Yeah. Um, I think just like those those couple pairs of shoes that you were talking about, maybe passing on, or like yeah. the Maurice's piece. Yeah. Yeah. I think with the style that you want to have curated for your store, and then the items you want online, those were some good pieces. Yeah. So it sounds like everyone so far has kind of been listening to your brand list and your style. Yeah. Vibe. There's been a couple where like it's a lot of... Cause I don't specifically list out every single brand that's like sold at Marshalls yeah. or something, but like I kind of hint like you know I'm not looking for fast fashion, but like people don't think of it that way. Sometimes I have to remind myself that re normal people, non resellers, don't know our lingo. Yeah, don't know our lingo and aren't really familiar with what brands do well and what brands don't. So right. I can't fault them. I can't blame them. I just have to kind of like show them yeah so this will be also another way by curating my store when people come in they can kind they can of see, see what i expect out of my clients so yeah that's awesome yeah. i'm excited i'm excited too thank you for judging all of my <laughs> my pieces yeah absolutely Wait. awesome so that's it for this video remember to go watch ashley's video over on her channel and see what goodies mm -hmm. we picked up today at goodwill yeah. and st vinnie's and i will see you guys next time Bye! Bye.